Pride. Happy holidays. Tip off is here in the Big Four second half of the doubleheader. UB controls the opening tip. Defense. The pressure defense that they provide on the ball, and they did that. And the way you're going to have to beat that is by driving the basketball. Crumpton, he'll set the offense. Now it's out to Douse. They'll swing it around the perimeter. Griff's control. This is Crumpton. Back up top, 12 on the shot clock. Griff's really well schooled in their man-to-man -man offense. Robertson goes into the lane. It's blocked right there. Only six on the clock. Has to feed it up top. Only two on the shot clock. The long range shot is no good. But the Griff's man-to-man -man offense and their execution, and you see the Bulls do a really nice job right there of guarding the Griff's offense. See some pressure right here early on by Johnson of Canisius going after Massenburg. CJ kicks it up top. Perkins back to Massenburg. About 22 feet away from the hoop. And that's not exactly what the Griff's coaches would want right now. They, if he's going to use his fouls, they need him on the court, and his fouls have got to be close to the basket against the big bodies of the Bulls. Hamilton reverses the ball. and Really it shoot it. He has a great touch. That lefty sh jump shot looks like Sam Perkins back in the day. <laughs> Nick Perkins coming into this one, shooting 32% from long range. It's a Valenti. Your big man can make a shot. Our big game man can make a shot, too. Only a 26% three-point shooter, but Valenti knocks that one down and ties it up early on. Now, interesting you see here, all of a sudden, Blake Hamilton is handling the ball a little more, and they move C.J. Massenburg kind of to an off-guard spot. Underneath, into the paint, and that's Connor, who we highlighted in the open. One way to loosen up the, the full-court pressure or the overplay on the ball is a back cut, and they got one right there. Willie Connor puts UB up by two. He's just playing a perimeter game here early on. They'll bounce it along the baseline. That's a three-pointer on the way. Uses all of the rim. No good is Crumpton. You talk about being a little unlucky there. Three bulls around the basket. Bad bounce off the rim for them. Right to Jermaine Crumpton for the easy putback. Top of the key here is Perkins. He'll hand it off to Connor. Back to Perkins. Wide open three-pointer. The left each to guard him on the perimeter. And the Griff's ball screen defense has to be better whenever Perkins is involved. Going to the hole hard against four UB Bulls. We're able to draw the foul. Don't be surprised to see a higher scoring game here today. Both these teams average over 75 points a game, which is very, and very they, nice number. And they do it hoops. in different ways. The Griffs do it by shooting threes and making threes. The Bulls do it by doing just that, driving to the basket. Kind of a wild offense. Don't be surprised. They got to try and get uh, some of the other guys going, especially Willie Connor. Looks like a timeout's gonna watch channel. We're not doing that too, are we? No, you don't have to. Okay, good. You don't have to get on your skates either. <laughs> Except maybe when you slide home on your street. That's the way it's been today. Mm -hmm. Into the lane goes CJ Massenberg, and he puts it off the glass for two. Well drawn up play out of the out of the timeout. The Griffs were very lucky. Massenberg drove and Phil Valente almost picked up his second foul, which would have been monumental this early in the game. Valente has it up top now. Nice look underneath. But altering the shot underneath was Hamilton, and Crumpton couldn't get it to go. Back the other way, the Bulls run, and let's see who this is going to be. Entering the game for the Canisius Griffs is number 10 in just a moment here after the free throw. Selvadonich. I have to say his name. Why did Valente pick up that second foul? Now, Blake Hamilton at the line. He's been described last year as the Swiss Army knife for the UB Bulls, and he is in a lot of ways. He can do everything. He's really a point guard, even though he's kind of a three-man. You know, he, both these teams, again, are kind of the new modern basketball where they have multi-positional guys and interchangeable parts. Glenn Inchins will sw sw swing it around, excuse me. Inside Crumpton. Boy, he's really trying to take... Bulls or pro Griffs crowd here so far this afternoon. Definitely had a pro St. Bonaventure crowd for the first game. Boy, the Bonnies travel well from Olean. The Bonnies travel well. They'd be able to get to a bowl game if we talked to your sport no, football no right now. No doubt about it. From the baseline, that shot found nothing but air, but kicked back out and for Connor. Willie Connor can shoot. We highlighted him at the beginning. He can really shoot.
Malik Johnson, the smallest man on the court, finds the biggest man right now. Planinchich, who gets it back to Johnson. Now he's going to go right through the lane amongst the trees, kicks it back out. Robertson, right there for Canisius. You see the rebounding edge slightly to UB, and that might be because of the style of play also for Canisius, which you've seen so far today. They're out in the perimeter a lot, which really causes them to not have a lot of one because Kadiri went to the hole and scored. They're, and what they're going to have to do, Kiefer Dows with the layup, that he's going to drive the ball, and when they drive the ball, it's going to create some mismatches in the paint. Kadiri. He'll go to the line. And Kadiri is kind of a part of the three monster for for the Bulls. You know, and I wonder if we're going to see that lineup some. We're not really necessary now because Phil Valente is out. Kadiri only coming in, but to be fair, he only had four attempts. But now he's two of six on the season after those two. It's getting better, getting better, right? A Stay bit, positive. A little bit. Stay positive. Went one of two on that trip. We're at the 15-minute mark here of the first half. And you see right there, the Griff missed, but Jermaine Crumpton, tremendous pass to find the open shooter. 15-8, UB leads it. That shot off the top of the backboard, no good. Griff's come back away with it. Nice move there. And I believe... Deary forcing him. Well, we couldn't quite see it, but we're going to guess the official was correct. He didn't complain either. Now he comes up with the steal, though, trying to atone for the turnover. Gets it to his teammate who misses the layup. And on the floor went Rouse. Now back the other way and up. It's getting back on defense. But boy, he was fast getting back to offense right there for the layup. Crumpton. And it's going to have to grab that one. But no, he lets it go. And it goes back to Crumpton. 13 on the shot clock, but he'll take a three. And that one rattled home. And the top of the key for Crumpton. And Quate McKenzie for UB was right in Crumpton's grill, and Jermaine still made it. That was a beautiful pass. Both teams playing at a breakneck speed right now, and you see three bulls at the scorer's table ready to come in. Dows will drive in the lane. He goes left-handed, pulls it back between his legs, but then he missed the layup. For UB, Massenburg. Cross and a minutes restriction on him at the at the beginning of when he came back from his, ma, his bout with Mono. Will they keep his minutes at a limit if they can? I, I think they would like to, especially before they get to the Mid-American Conference season. McKenzie. He'll hand it off to Jordan. Jordan had it stripped away. Back come the Griffs. It's Atkinson. Down the right side. Here's a floater on the baseline from Foley. That one doesn't go. Planinchich couldn't get it. Now he does. And Planinchich drills, drip, nails, excuse me, the second of two. That cuts the lead 19 to 12. Bulls. Long range shot there. McKenzie wouldn't fall. He grip, gets it back, though, Break right back at half court. Gumper from Hamilton, and that's why you see how Blake Hamilton is just so smooth. And really with this lineup for the Bulls, Blake Hamilton is the one guy who can really score. Crumpton, who already has six, going for three there, doesn't get it. Now a nice pass underneath Leninchich, he'll drop it off, and there's a foul in. The bucket. Between the two coaches, the two the lineups, that how they keep changing big to small between both coaches, and now even the style of play. The Griffs are now attacking the basket. It's a fast-paced game right now, and both teams are going into their bench. Interesting to see if Reggie Witherspoon will bring Phil Valente back in. Good defense by the Griffs. They knock it away there, and back comes number five, Robertson. He'll hand it off, but it's stolen away. Beautiful defense by UB. Now a two-on-two -two underneath. Going up, dropping it down is Perkins. Unselfish play by Dante Carruthers there, going up and dropping it off to the big man and rewarding him for running the floor. This is David versus Goliath and all that stuff. These are two evenly matched teams who are playing well. It's a rivalry game, so these games tend really, as we saw early with Niagara and St. Bonaventure, you know, records kind of go out the window a little bit. Underneath, a big block there by Planicic. And you know what? You see the Bulls, they're trying to get Perkins in the post, and they think they got a mismatch there. 
Boy, Planichich put Look it on the this floor, guy. and it went down for him as he had the little floater off the glass. Thank you. I don't know who was, who was surprised, us? The Canisius radio crew almost fell out of their seat <laughs> when that happened. They're sitting just a few seats from us. UB trying to answer the bell here as Canisius has suddenly... When they drive the ball, they were the same way last year. And I thought last year, Nate Oates did such an outstanding job of coaching last year and getting them to play to their strengths and get the ball in the paint. And here you see Blake Hamilton driving that sets people up. Now you have a mismatch with Massenburg. He misses the three. Ill-timed rebound there as he went, Planicic went up, couldn't get it, but now he's gonna reach in. Almost gets a foul, he does it. It was all predicated off of the Griff's underneath out of bounds defense, Sal. They switch everything. So you had a center being matched up with a guard in Massenburg, and you see who won the mass matchup, Massenburg did. Planicic hands it off to Foley. Here's Robertson, three-pointer on the way. Five-point game. Carruthers to the baseline. To him and let him hit you and fall down. He did not do that. Nick Perkins at the line, 65% for the season. These three bowls to start every game this season. Connor and Smart, the others. Lefty. Mid-major players. They are guys that can really play. They're going to be getting paid to play eventually, you know, when they graduate. But they are very, very good mid-major players. And, and very good mid-major players as sophomores turn into guys who can play at a high major level when they're older. And they'll beat teams at that high major level, whether it's the NCAA tournament or non-conference teams, because of those two. Atkinson floats one, dropping it down. Boy, that was a high arching. He was inside <laughs> against some much taller defenders. He threw it up there. There's a three pen. Suddenly, number 33, Nick Perkins, is on a tear. Perkins ran by us as he went, went down the court and said, they can't guard me. And you know what? He might be right. 13 points now for Perkins. Here's Crumpton. Boy. He said, right back at you, you can't guard me. That three-pointer gives him 12 on the afternoon, so Perkins with 13, Crumpton with 12. A fall, and he fell, he stuck his chest out, and he hit it, and he got the call. Great play by Jermaine Crumpton. Did Johnny Cochran come up with that, or did Mike McDonald, if you want to get the call, you got to fall. I don't know if Johnny Cochran did. Somebody, We're not going to go there. Basketball a long yeah. time ago. Okay. <laughs> Make it sure. I'll take credit for it, I'll okay. take credit. Here's Crumpton, he works his way in. Bernie Strong. And he, right after Perkins said they can't guard me, Trump is saying that you can't guard me. Great steal by Atkinson, but he stepped on the out of bounds line. He did. These two coaches, I was going to say, their staffs, some tremendous basketball minds, don't they? Yes, they do. There's Perkins, another three pointer on the way. Back of the iron is no good. Now an open three from the wing. That also is no good from Massenburg. Ball is bouncing around. Two UB Bulls got a hand on it, but Canisius comes away with it. Griffs will run. Now they'll slow it down with Atkinson. Foley looking for someone to give it to, and why not Crumpton? He has 14. Now it's Douse. Douse going underneath. It. Now, with that, what UB has done has been very impressive, and they're trying to get back for a third time. See a little full court pressure by the Griffs. Johnson putting pressure on Massenburg. A couple of free throws were good, so that makes it a one-point game. There's Get one of the Sabres banners up there. UB has led the entire way, but Canisius right on the doorstep, threatening to take the lead. And if you're Canisius, you're playing without one of your best players in Phil Valenti. And Foley's and gonna look to tie it. Minutes to go in the first half. Three-pointer for Foley. That's his first bucket of the game. But you, Blake Hamilton, he's just calm and collected, isn't he? He is very much so, and he is, in a lot of ways, he's the leader of this team. Boy, some college basketball teams don't have 35 points midway through the second half. We're already at 35 here with six minutes left in the first half. Uh, we figured it would be a high-scoring game. Johnson pulls it out. Five on the shot clock. Here's Foley, he just hit a three and now he's gonna be short on another, but 
grabbed by it down. Johnson with the find the rebound, find the big guy, let him finish. Blake Hamilton, he has six. Here's Perkins right at the free throw line. And you Too see what strong. the Griff's defense is doing is they're making Perkins become a playmaker there by getting the ball out of the playmaker's hands. Run into each other, but they wind up getting the rebound. Boy, that was Canisius' chance to take the lead at that free throw trip. It's okay, they, they played very well. One. And again, they're playing without Phil Valenti, so for them. Up overall, and just to backtrack a little bit, the last one on Perkins was actually only his first, which means it's only seven for UB. Their next will be their eighth, but they do not can both miss. So we're even. Now each got a Johnson. foul, each got a missed free throw, right? Johnson, the alley-oop attempt is a little bit wide, but that was good defense down. Would have been a tough call. And this is where you worry about C.J. Massenburg. He's not really, last year when he played really well for them, he was not playing the point. Here he's kind of playing out of position as a point, but he's able to drive. It looks like he got away with Here's it. Here's what he's saying. Ron Kaberski is a veteran official. He does the ACC, he does the Big Ten. Or if we want to keep being on the air in the second half. But he said something as he walked away. He kind of said it to himself. I think in that case, you warn him. Right. You know, or what you do is you go over and you. The yeah. official came I've over. I've never seen an official. I got to be honest. I've never seen an official go back over when the kid comes out and talk to him, too. Well, maybe Reggie told the kid, you better say something to the official. Nice. Send them a lift off the bench and help bring him back. So I don't think it's a major problem for the Griffs right now. But I think long term, Malik Johnson will learn. You're the leader as a freshman. You're the point guard. Don't say anything. Well, let's talk about how that impacted this game here. Now it's a five-point game suddenly when it was a one-point game. And you get a foul on that end. Yes. And now all of a sudden, Kanish has dug themselves a hole here. Yep. But like we said, when Chris Atkinson came in before, he gave them a lot of help, a lot of energy. Robertson had it stripped, Crumpton had it stripped, excuse me. Back come the Bulls. Dante Carruthers, he is a 44% free throw shooter. Now Dante Carruthers played at East High School in Rochester. For, played for Canisius. Carruthers is here at UB. Talk about, talk about being intertwined. That's something that's really good. Daryl Barley, one of the all-time leading scorers in the state of New York basketball. Atkinson running the point. Gets it over to number four, Daus. Leninchic, he'll try and set a screen. Now Atkinson will swing it around. Crumpton touches it. The offense goes through him a lot on situations like this. We'll see if he touches it again here. He does. Here's Crumpton. Let's see with five seconds left what he does. Tries to drive, step back inside the three-point line. That one's no good. UB takes over. Good defense by Perkins there on Crumpton. Very much so, and a great rebound by Raheem Johnson. The stretch rebound, grabbed it over a few people. CJ Massenburg, he'll throw the alley-oop up. Cannot connect with number 30. And put it back in. 417 remaining here. Out of Washington, D.C. Checks into the lineup. A lot of foul trouble on that front line. One of the, the size of the Bulls. And I think that has worn him down and drawn some fouls. I'll give you an interesting stat here, what's going on in this game. Over the last minute and a half, UB has outscored right, and, and, and Canisius is cold right now. Okay. They haven't hit anything on the other end. It's been a game of spurts. UB had one early, Canisius had one. They get right back into it. Now UB has had one to stretch the lead out to nine. Canisius' scoring drought is extended to two and a half minutes. Lost, they needed that. And you look at the coaching staff at Buffalo. You can see Lindsey Hunter. He looked back, it looked like he ate something bad. He's like, how do we just leave the guy wide open on the three-point line? Over three minutes and 20 seconds have gone by before UB's hit a field goal. But yet, they still lead this one by six. Perkins swings it around. Carruthers inside. Nice, nice pass. pass, nice feed no. from McKinsey. Now, I couldn't tell who was it. I think it was Massenburg who wind up it was putting Johnson. it down. Johnson, it was Johnson, thank you. Couldn't tell, was, I was being blocked out a little bit there. McKenzie, though, is interesting because he came out early in the half. Remember, he took a three. The coaches were upset with him. And he just made a nice play, posting up and turning to score. 
Long three-pointer away. That one is way off the mark. Out of bounds it goes. Sit Phil Valeni out the whole half here, basically, and save his last three fouls for that second half. Watch the Griff's looking to trap the ball. And you know, we haven't heard Willie Connor's name much, and that was Willie Connor in the corner. He had a jump shot, but you see, coaches drew something up at, out of the timeout that they wanted to do. They're trying to go to Nick Perkins inside. And Perkins has it roll around the rim. No good, that was actually Hamilton that that happened to. And now the Griffs come away with the basketball after a couple of miss. Here's Crumpton. Crumpton backing down Perkins. On the baseline, two bulls surround him. And now he feeds the ball down the baseline. I don't know how he saw number 32 Faulkner there, but Faulkner couldn't convert. This is Massenburg. See if they try and go back inside to Perkins again. He made a really nice move. He's one-on-one -on -one in the post. And that time short. he doesn't attack the rim. He misses this one. I was wrong, it was one on one, not two. It was the eighth foul overall. I think the Bulls got a lid on the basket over here. Yeah, that one again rolls around. They've now had, Foley will come up with it. They've the had corner. four point blank shots that have just rolled out in the last minute and a half. And here's Crumpton from three. Crumpton 45 40, and he has 17 here in the first half. He's having four. He's had quite a good game in the first half. So McKenzie picks up his first. And that Griff, is the Griff ninth are making foul. their little run right here. Next foul by UB puts Kanishis at the line for two. Nice move there. Inside. Robertson, but then he a little pressure here by Canisius. Yeah. They trail by two. Faulkner, who's only played in four games so far this year, has only made one three. Makes the three from the corner. It's a little bit of found money right there, Sal. Atkinson guarding C.J. Max Massenburg. One on one here. Massenburg throws it over to Perkins. 15 on the shot clock. Perkins dumps it down low. And a nice feed and a nice bucket. Kenneth Smart gets the lid off the basket there. Really nice feed by Perkins. That one is knocked away. Good hustle. Green Crumpton bring him to the block. See if they can get a post up for him against Perkins. He's had some success in there. Atkinson, let's see what was drawn up by Reggie in the timeout. Still has it, over to Robertson. He'll drive, that one is rejected. And the other way is Hamilton. Hamilton goes up, makes it a four point swing. Instead of two for the Griffs, it's two for the Bulls. 11 seconds left, Bulls. Tough shot by Hamilton. Griffs maybe hold for one last shot here. Atkinson will let it go early though. Little knuckleball, winds up off the iron, no good. Saved by the Griffs, one second. Off the hands of Crumpton, that is. Three, but one for seven inside of three. They're gonna need him to convert in the lane. And look right off the bat, look who is guarding Jermaine Crumpton. Blake Hamilton, number zero. They, UB does go small out of the timeout, out of the uh, halftime. They start Carruthers at a guard. Who else is starting? Valenti for Canisius. He missed most of the first half. He wound up getting into the lane and converting for two. It's a one-point game now, 49-48. Now, by going small, what UB does, they take a Kenneth Smart, they take Raheem Johnson out of the middle, so those drives to the basket by the Griffs are a lot less contested. There's no 6'10 guy in there. Yep, for UB. You never called Willie Connor's name a whole lot, and there he is starting the second half. Valenti, he'll take a long range three point and, and disrupting the chemistry you had going on in the, late in that first half. Not at all. He's one of your best players. You get him in, you get him some touches, you get him some shots. He's your third leading scorer, 12.4 points a game. And what Griffs are trying to do, or excuse me, what the Bulls are trying to do is throw it to Perkins inside with Valenti on him. The ear hurts, but. Blake Hamilton's got to stay out of the way. Let, let the Bulls try and attack Phil Valente in the lane. 52-51, UB up top. They have the ball here as well. Three-pointer on the way. That one is no good. It's short off the hands of Connor, but the rebound on the weak side is up and also no good by Perkins, though. He couldn't come up with it. And Perkins almost throws the ball at the backboard. A lot of spin and a lot of English, and that's why it spun out. Crumpton. Now they had Perkins Gauss looked for the back door. Crumpton didn't see him. Big steal right there. Going to the hole, number 20, Carruthers. 
Bad turnover there by Canisius. Nice steal by Carruthers. He takes it to the other end for two. And once again, Canisius just can't get the lead after being close. They were down by one on that possession. Now down three, and it's Crump contested shot. Reggie Witherspoon pleading with Mike Kitts. Hey, how about a foul down there? We had the same foul at our end. Here's a mismatch the Bulls like. They got Perkins being guarded underneath by Malik Johnson. Dante Carruthers at the baseline. He backed his man down and he definitely pushed up. I don't know, I don't know. He's got to turn. I mean, I, you got to let the guy turn a little bit. We've become so worried about, you know, keeping the basketball clean and not no contact in there. He drives, great pass. From baseline to baseline. Johnson from Douse. out of the doghouse, making that pass right there to Douse Keeper along the Douse, baseline. 35%. Three-point shooter, drains one here, and now we have a tie game, 54 all at the Key Bank Center. Nice step back jumper, but no good from Hamilton. Now Canisius, a chance once again to take their first lead of the game. Here's Crumpton, and why not spots? And if you look at it, that's how the Griffs have to attack. They're trying to prevent Crumpton from shooting threes, and they put Blake Hamilton on him. Valenti doing a nice job there to force Blake Hamilton into a pass, but now the are possession, so that's why it's gonna go to UB and we're gonna have a reset of the shot clock over to 30. Up top, Massenburg. Suddenly the Bulls find themselves trailing, first time in this game. 56-54, 21 feel, on the shot clock. You feel the energy, the Griffs are excited. Massenburg, three-pointer, trying to get that lead back, they can't, but now he has it again and Douse intercepts. Douse has Robertson leaking towards the basket. Robertson with three bulls on him. He's personal. Buffalo has gone back to a more traditional, bigger lineup like they started. Took Blake Hamilton out right now. Malik Johnson with the inbound pass to Valenti. Valenti will go to the hole hard and it's rejected. The first media timeout of the second half. CJ Massenberg has got to attack Phil Valenti, see if he get that third foul on. Willie Connor. See, the Bulls, when they play offense, they use the dribble to explore a lot. Connor yeah. for three. This one is going to be off the iron, no good. And the Griffs grab the rebound. It's Robertson again. Has Palencic running, but he goes the other way with it. It's Dowd, where fouls are going to start to play into this game. We saw Valenti sit almost the entire first half with two. He has yet to come up with one here, which is good news for Canisius. Obviously, the best player can stay on the court for a while. That's right, keep him out there. And we haven't seen, you know, the Griffs having have only two points from Jermaine Crumpton this half, but the other guys have all been involved. Great move right there to get inside by Connor. He did one step around the baseline defender, got up and over for two. I was just gonna say that how the Bulls have only shot 28% in the second half. The Griffs have really tightened up the defense. Unfortunately, not on that possession they had. 56 all. Planicic with 14 on the shot clock. He'll set a screen. Johnson will kick it back to Planicic. The big man with a three-pointer. A little too strong. Off both sides of the iron before it came down. And now it's going to be a... Oh, it gave a little bump. Long three, that one's no good. Coming down with the rebound was Johnson, but it's intercepted. Back the other way goes Reese for Canisius. Reese one on one and he makes him pay. That's for turnover, Sal. It's very difficult to guard a turnover. You can't set your defense like that. You're better off throwing that ball into the cheerleaders. You know, let your defense set. A little full court pressure here, token pressure by Canisius. Making UB speed up a little bit. Good job by Phil Valente, not fouling when he helped on the ball screen right now. We have a switch. 14-15 remaining, we have a foul call. Yeah, Looks like Reese came over the back end. You know, that one with the ball, you hit the ball, yeah. you hit it out of bounds, just give them the ball. Well, no Valenti will take a seat now. He's replaced Crumpton back into the game. There's a three-pointer rattling around. Boy, that one didn't drop. Yeah, talk Cole about Perkins. karma, Sal. Ever since he said they can't guard me, I don't think he's made a shot. <laughs> Three-pointer no good on the other end for Canisius, and now fighting for it amongst the trees. A good job there. Hamilton. Here's the full court pressure by the Griffs. Why are the Griffs deciding at this juncture of the game to put a little more pressure well, on? Well, they did before, but now they're really trying to wear down 
the Bulls even more. Inside Perkins, he'll work against Planet Chench and that rocket. He and that, stepped right around him. You have to take away his right shoulder. He only turns to his right to score. He only turns to his right. Scouting report from the head coach that took this UB team to overtime to start the exhibition Trust season. Trust me, we tried to take it away from Perkins. We couldn't. Perkins and Massenburg killed us. <laughs> Didn't happen to catch that one, Coach, but heard you guys did a great Perkins is saying, man, this guy's like a bowling ball hitting me <laughs> in Crumpton. Crumpton has two points here in the first half of play. Now Perkins is guarding him right now. Tries to shake free, but Planicech actually gets free. It does not connect on the second of two free throws. 59-58, though, he puts his team up. Blake Hamilton. The Bulls try and go into the post here with Massenburg, or with, excuse me, with Perkins. Perkins there, working, turns on Crumpton. Well, he had Crumpton down on the ground. Again, trust me, I've seen Perkins score up close <laughs> a lot. Jermaine but Crumpton. every game you see Perkins play, that's where he's comfortable. He loves that block, and he loves to turn to that shoulder. Now Crumpton guarded by Perkins. Crumpton directing traffic here. Reese kicks it out. Inside, left-handed layup. That one does not fall for Rock. Cash them both. My question is, Making them. it really wasn't a shooting foul. I mean, he was going for the rebound there. This half, the and foul sitch down the stretch, they can really help themselves tremendously today. No, no foul, but only four. It's a big differential. UB's really going to have to drive it. Line, he drains a couple, and now it's a 61 60 Kanisha sleep. Planicic, by the way, was called for that last foul for Canisius. Keep an eye on 24 McKenzie for the Bulls right here guarding Crumpton. He's going to be have, have to be the guy who helps shut down Crumpton. Reverse layup. That one's no good. Planicic had a chance at it, but he grabs his own rebound, and now they'll reset. You don't often see a missed tip. And then Planicic. an offensive rebound. And you see Nate Oates almost at midcourt screaming at Blake Hamilton, get the rebound. Three-pointer on the way. That one is no good from Robertson. UB comes the one. other way. Planicic is late getting back, so it's a five-on-four situation. Held up a little bit. They were upset. The coaches were upset going into that timeout. 11.25 left. This is a veteran UB team in a lot of ways. Malik Johnson will control the point. He's being guarded by C.J. Massenburg. Boy, Johnson somehow got free. Had a chance underneath, but he couldn't get it to fall. So UB now comes the other way. Blake Hamilton fell, but he got it back. Here's Massenburg. Massenburg, double clutch. For the Bulls right now, it's got to be all off the dribble. Malik and that's Johnson. what they're doing right now. Sorry, excuse me, Coach Malik Johnson with his third foul. Four for four. So Valenti comes back into the game. Five. Personal fouls, or team fouls, excuse me, called against Canisius this half. UB has already had eight against them. You'd like to think so eventually. Most coaches probably don't believe it, though, yeah. in the heart of the game. <laughs> There's a carry. No. So three on Johnson, three on Reese, three on Valenti, four on Perkins for UB. You have a game with 32 fouls called. You know why. Perimeter game now for UB. They almost give it up, and now they do. Here comes Reese. He feeds it off to Roberts, it up and in for two. Kind of a careless pass out of the corner by Quate McKenzie. He even take the lead on this trip. They cannot do it. So the Griffs still hold the lead after the miss by Hamilton. Trying to post up Jermaine Crumpton. Crumpton without Perkins on him now. It's going to be a tremendous game for the Niagara Falls native. Blake Hamilton. He'll drive into the lane. 
That one really didn't touch much. Now here out of bounds, watch how the Griffs, they kind of set up in the zone. They really switch everything. The Atkinson, you see, is guarding number 11, is guarding the center for the Bulls in Johnson. There's the switch right there, and Atkinson actually lost his man for a moment, and that's how the UB Bulls were able now to get the Now they'll switch back once the ball comes in bounds. Three-pointer on the way. That one rolls around the rim. It actually went inside the cylinder for a brief moment that came out. Valenti, the turnaround lefty hook. No good. Bodies on the floor. UB with it. Into the lane, and a charge is going <laughs> to... I got 25, and they said, you know what, they'll probably give them a rest till the next media timeout at the under eight. And the Bulls have missed chances to get. Shots. <laughs> it's, it's still 9.24 to play, folks. A lot more points to be had, Sal. So got to make your free throws, though. UB's largest lead in this game was nine points. Since then, Canisius kept carving and carving and carving until they finally took the lead. They've yet taken a one. They've yet taking a one-point lead, but now it's a tie game again. Ooh, Griff's got a gateway with one there. Valenti was kind of through the pass on the move. We have had eight ties in this game. That's how close it's been. Robertson on the baseline, throws it back up top, grabbed by Foley, who then kicks it over to Atkinson. Good backdoor cut by Robertson there. Foley inside to Planicic. Nice pass. Planicic. Who didn't think it was so funny? Well, he, I know why, but it was kind of funny it watching it. It was funny. It is definitely funny. There's a three pointer on that play becomes because the other side is a three pointer by Connor. And it's tough. Spencer Foley's trying to ta trail Connor around those screens, and Connor is a good, great shooter if you give him space. And they gave him some space there. Planet is going to try to take his man off the dribble. The big man has to pick it back up. Now he goes inside and resets with Atkinson. 10 on the shot clock. 8.22 left. Valenti, good first step right there by Valenti. That's tough. Nice to sit down on the bench, sit down on the bench. It's really for the crowd behind him so they can see. Phil Valenti. In that case, it should be for the uh, for the team, your right. teammates. So you don't throw it to him. The junior from near Rochester, Phil Valenti, hits both of his free throws. It's a one-point game again. Canisius trailing once again. The Shuffle of Fate Institute for Mike Rosadonia. Won a state championship for, the, for Aquinas. Brendan McDaniel did the first game here. The big Aquinas works at Aquinas. Here's an LLU to the UB Bulls. Number 31 for UB. That is Raheem Johnson. Running so fast, they're knocking the papers off our... Volenti table. tries to come back the other way. He can't. That would have stemmed the tide a little bit because this crowd got into it after that flush. And a crossover and good move there because Crumpton wound up actually tripping a little bit on the beautiful move. Great job by Chris Hamilton, Atkinson digging out that rebound. Chris Atkinson dug it out and knocked it out, knocked it loose and was able to corral it. That was a big play. Crumpton with 26, he hands this one off. Valenti throws, ooh, Atkinson had to reach for it. That one almost went to the bench again. Yeah, you're right. Now a foul is gonna be called and reach it. If it... See when Nate Oates brings Nick Perkins back in. When will he get him back in? Valenti going after the rebound there. He winds up coming up with it. See, Blake Hamilton had the drive. They forced Valenti to help. And the throw up top to Raheem Johnson. All he has to do was catch and finish it. Here's the swing, the three-pointer, and that one that comes off Spencer Foley's hands outside the arc. Spencer Foley, one of the best shooters in Illinois. Signed with the Griffs early with Jim Barron. And has played very well here for Reggie Witherspoon. Jimmy Barron loved his shooters, didn't he? Yes. The son was one of the best. Oh, he's not. The sub is at the there table, Sal. All right. I'm pretty you sure. You saw that. Seventy-two, seventy-one. You be leading. Crumpton being guarded by Hamilton. 
pushed off a little there, but they let that go. A little miscommunication by the Bulls. Another little short jumper does not fall for Canisius. Foley makes a nice Foley. move. You know, he used the ability to make a three. Blake Hamilton. Fucking everybody's got an answer right now. I, I think you leave one in, Planichich, right now because you can't. Do you go deeper into Valencia. your bench? Do you go to St. Louis? Do you make it? Let's see if we can get through with him. If he fouls out, then we got to figure out how much time is left. I think he's going to listen to your advice, so. DJ Massenberg steps up and makes it a three point basketball game. 74 71 UB. CJ Massenberg doing most of his damage from the free throw line. Baseline. Crumpton. Oh, that one was in and out for Crumpton. He has 26, but only six here this half after scoring 20 points in the first 20 minutes of play. We haven't called his name a lot from the perimeter where he was making threes early. Good defense by Crumpton here, but he winds up getting out of it. Now they'll try and reset with 13 on the shot clock. Here's a three-pointer. That one is no good. Planichis comes up with the rebound. Willie Hands Connor it trying to hit the ground, draw the foul. Didn't really get fouled there. But watch for Jermaine Crumpton in the post now, trying to get Blake, Crump, uh, Blake Hamilton in some foul trouble. Three-pointer on the way. This one is going to be no good, a little short as well. Planichich over the top on his own man he went over the top of. And this is going to be Reese. That one is good. One in. Something to keep teams off balance. Looks like the Griffs are going to press. You know, in a rivalry game like this, Sal, four minutes to go, tie game. Sometimes it's the guys you don't expect. Spencer Foley, three for four from three today. On the year, four for 17. Inside, it looked like a pass, and he wound up leaving number 33 Perkins all along. And look at the, the rim. Was oh my gosh. so hard. Perkins bent wow. the rim. He bent yeah. the rim. He just flexed his muscles and pounded his muscles. Take a look at a good shot there. there. Go. Well, I should have told you, UB loves to out of a timeout. They run that play. It's called four down. And they're going to throw it in to the four-man Perkins in the paint. They kind of clear everybody out, take all the help side away, and that's exactly what they got. Let's see if that dunk energizes the Bulls. 4-11 left in regulation, 17 on the shot clock. Two-point game. Canisius down with the basketball. There's a tip. Grabbed by Crumpton. Throws underneath Planichich there for a great pass by Jermaine Crumpton. A little Doing touch pass. Inside four minutes remaining. We will have one more media timeout. Watch the same play right here. Going back in to the big guy. Carruthers back up top to Hamilton. This is C.J. Massenburg. Massenburg goes left-handed on Crump. Massenburg can't get it to fall. Plasicic. Good defense by Crumpton. It's a long way to get around him. Perkins now underneath Gary Planicic, who comes up top, throws the ball away. And well, it's a career high because, you know, it's his first year playing. It's December. But that makes it sound like he's been playing for four years, <laughs> and he's here. A little backcourt pressure by the Griffs. Broken by the Bulls. Willie Connor for three. And that one he's is been no quiet this second half. And real reality, the whole game. So now, Johnson inside. That one is no good. Coach Witherspoon not happy with that decision by Jermaine Crumpton. Here's a three pointer on the. That's a huge bucket there from the baseline 79 both, 76. Both coaches dying, trying to get a little space in this game. Every possession so important right now. 2.39 remaining. Phil Valenti up top. Here's Crumpton to try and tie it. Jermaine does. The answer. He has 29. The Griffs bench is up. Nate Oates is up. Nate Oates is up and cheering on the other end. And directing, I should say, on the other end. Blake Hamilton. Looks for Massenburg, can't give it to him, finally does. C.J. Massenburg goes from left-handed to right-handed. That was an awkward shot. Not a good shot and a breakout back the, the other Griffs. way, and that one is gonna be good. It's Douse who comes away with the finger roll for two points and a two-point lead. An old saying, Sal, bad shot at one end leads to a good shot at the other. Perkins hands it off to Hamilton. Bulls have had trouble breaking down these griffs off the bounce. 
three-pointer from the corner. That one is no good. Valenti battling for little guys. There they go, they're still doing that. And they're throwing it up high with a little guy on Hamilton. Hamilton against Johnson. Hamilton spins around. Oh boy, that one went down and back out. Now it comes back out to Hamilton. He'll swing it around. C.J. Massenburg, the three-pointer is no good. Rebound, and it's gonna go the other way. It's frustrating because you can't yell at the refs. Yeah, I got you. you. Wanna... I, I, I like the college basketball system though. Yeah. I mean, it's really, like you said, it's turned into everything. Yes. And great, it's one to tie it. Daus, Valenti, Planicic, and Reese, all with four fouls for Canisius, four on Carruthers and Perkins for the Bulls. Okay, coming out of timeout, let's see what the Biffs do. They gotta get the ball to Crumpton, I would imagine here. 81 all basketball game. Boy, that was close to being a travel. There's Crumpton with the shot. You called it, but that one's no good. Now it goes down onto the floor, so do the bodies. Everyone's rolling around. It's gonna be a jump ball situation. Griffs have to shoot. Now, do you, do you try and shoot quickly? Again, so you're in a two for one situation, you're gonna get it back. 81 all, 45 remaining, 26 on the shot clock. Inside Valenti, oh, that's a block, Hamilton. Wow, the crowd on its feet after that one. The Bulls have to shoot. All right, here we go. If you gotta get, if you're the, you're the Bulls, tie up any loose balls. Inside, 20 on the shot clock, it's Blake Hamilton. They can work it down to about 10 before they have to shoot. The fade for Hamilton. Inside, baseline, that one is good, but charge. no, they're gonna call a charge. The conference game, maybe that's it. That's right, well, they can't charge, they didn't challenge, here we go. Here Last we go. possession possibly for the Griffs. Griffs, Griffs this is not Johnson. taking a timeout. 81-81, execute, see Crumpton. what they can do. Top of the key, Valenti, gives it over to Johnson. Nine seconds, Johnson driving, Johnson in the lane. Crumpton Three for pointer winner. from Crumpton for the winner, that one, off the rim, inside, layup, no good, Valenti, his shot is no good. We're going to overtime. And... Valenti wins the tip. Crumpton controls. 29 points here this afternoon for Jermaine Crumpton, the Niagara Falls native, playing for Canisius College. And you know he wanted 32. He was right there. <laughs> no doubt. Let's see if we'll have a chance for it here in the overtime. Boy, that was a giveaway because Johnson could not come up with a pass right off his hands. But then a block on the other end. Good block by Dows. Hamilton getting into the lane, but not being able to finish. Crumpton will find Valenti up top. Robertson, back to Valenti. About <laughs> in. 83-81, two free throws good there by Valenti. Now, with Blake Hamilton with four fouls, does that make him less aggressive to drive? And it looks like they're gonna try and go right into Perkins right here. Inside, has position on his... Near sport. Two for three from the free throw line for Perkins so far here this afternoon. These are two biggies now. 402 remaining in overtime. The lefty sets and he puts... That first one, right? So Kanisha's now back up to 71% from the line for the game, but UB's still shooting at a 75% clip. They need this one. They get it. Four Perkins. Johnson being guarded tightly by Carruthers. And Carruthers he's got four be fouls, so he's got to be careful. Oh, the wide open layup. Someone lost their man over there, Coach. Not exactly sure who it was, but Dows took advantage. Well, that was Massenburg, and you know what? They they get so focused on guarding the ball screen. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Here's three-point lead and the basketball. Now, if you're the Griffs, take your time in overtime. Take your time, execute again. The Bulls got so focused on guarding the ball screen, when he didn't use it, it fooled him. Inside, Valenti has position, goes up. It's four fouls, so he has to be unaggressive. Allows it to go. They're trying to, the Bulls are trying to go inside to get it to Perkins. Five point game. A lot of help. CJ Massenburg looking to cut into it. He can't, three pointers no good. Canisius with the ball again. Massenburg has not hit a three all game. He's 0 for 5 from behind the arc. Boy, this would be a dagger maybe if Canisius can get it to 7, and they do Canisius up. 
Looking to see if Nate Oates wants to take a timeout. He doesn't, he's gonna let him play. Yep, he does now. Blake Hamill to the rim. See what the Bulls have for an answer right here. This has been a, a good one here screen. today. CJ Massenburg. Here comes Willie Connor off for three. Trying to get that screen to open somebody up. And they can't get the layup to fall. That was Perkins. He was right in front of the basket. A little too strong. And the other way is Johnson. He goes amongst the trees. And that one is no good. Now here comes UB. They're two on three, but they're going to take it to the basket anyway. And instead, it's going to be a three. Misses it. Johnson pushes it up. And half the Canisius fans are saying, pull it out, pull it out. And he forces up a wild layup. But the Griff's the beneficiary here. Johnson inside Valenti. Body oh. on Valenti, no call. Boy, we've seen a lot more ticky tack than that called here today. Here's Hamilton. Three hand three. Three for three. He is on the bench right now, though, as you mentioned, a little offensive for defensive oh, substitute. Ball's being inbounded. Carruthers will give it up to Massenburg. CJ Massenburg back in the game for his offense now. Watch Connor coming off a double screen here. Massenburg still with the ball. Looking inside, gonna try to take it himself. Goes around Valenti, inside, it's a gonna block. be a block and, and one. A chance for a three point play to cut it back to one. Two point game here, 90 seconds left at Key Bank Center. Yeah, Sal, you did it. And after that trip. Griff's, all the Griff fans will send you money right now. <laughs> to getting Christmas presents from the Griff fans. I don't know what I'm getting for those U, from those UB people after that one though. Yeah. <laughs> Up top, Valenti, two-point game. Better watch out for snowballs on the sideline tomorrow. Douse. Inside, inside. Crumpton. Good fake. And that's a... But you know what? Michael Phelps doesn't have 31 tonight either. Crumpton does. UB has the ball. That's a beautiful block right there. I think it was Crumpton, actually, who got up and got his... It's a lot of, of, ball, of screens right here on the out-of-bounds play. Pass in, three-pointer on the way, off the rim, no good. Great rebound there by Blake Hamilton. What can he do with it, though? Turns around from the free throw line. The jumper is no good. T with the rebound. He now hands it the off Bulls have to, to foul, Robertson. But Hamilton can't foul. And he's going to have to here. He that one is short as well. How about that? Johnson, a very good free throw shooter, not coming up with it there. Bulls want to score quickly here. He's a 74% shooter from the strike, but that time it didn't go down either time. Right Here's a three-pointer. Perkins. Perkins, a lefty, no Way good. Off. That's right. Well, that one rolls around and it's good. So now it's a five-point game, 92-87. Bulls still alive, but they need something quickly here. Getting to the line, or laying it through the lane. I very big win personally for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was fired by UB two years ago. And to come back and beat them, that is going to be some sweet revenge. Not, I guess not. No, not really. But that was nice of you. You're looking out for the young yeah. man's best interest. Let's see how the second one goes. Not much better, although he hit the rim. 18 seconds left. Robertson. Robertson wants.
That is his fifth in this qualifying fall. Devontae Jordan will shoot two for Buffalo. Cassius Robertson to shoot two for Kinesius. 